Hey, welcome you guys to another video on Camera Vince's Photo Mechanic, the ultimate professional workflow tool. In this video, we're going to cover setting up a default editor and editors based on file type. We're also going to show you how to add an additional editor that doesn't have any association that you can choose manually. We kind of covered this a little bit in the install video, but I, I thought it was important to, to cover it again here in case some of you already have your application installed and haven't watched that video. It's important to know how Photo Mechanic handles different file types. So we're going to create a JPEG in here real quick so that you can see the difference between JPEG and Camera Raw. And we're going to go ahead and use this file that we've set the marker for. We're going to do a Save As. So we're going to right click and we're going to hit Save As Photo. And we'll cover this in more detail uh, further in this video. We're going to no scaling. We're going to have high compression, watermarks. We're going to copy it into an original folder and it'll rename it automatically, by the way. We're going to leave the resolution set to 300 and we're going to tell it to crop so we're going to apply the cropping factor so we'll hit okay okay that's done and again this is how the crop is added see this this photo has physically been cropped so now we have a jpeg here so if i right click this jpeg i have the option to edit photo. This is going to use whatever the default is set up in preferences. I'm also going to show you how to set up so you can manually overwrite the default setting right from this window. So how do we do that real quick? Well, we'll do that in preferences. So we'll come over to edit. We'll click on preferences. We'll go ahead and click on the launching tab and this is where we're going to set up our defaults. Now currently I have Photoshop set up as my default application. Sometimes you might want to let Windows open files, but I like to have a little bit more control over my editors. So I go ahead and set up Photoshop as my default. And then for my raw files, I'm going to come over to assign specific editing application for each type. And I'm going to click set. I'm going to find my Nikon raw file. I'm going to double click it. And it's going to open a window. And I'm going to go select Nikon capture because that's how I edit my raw files. So, I'm going to run over to my local computer. I'm going to go into my program files. I'm going to go find Nikon. Capture NX2. And I'm going to say Capture NX2 is the default. So now, when I use the default on an NEF file or an NRW file, then Photo Mechanic is going to use Capture NX, it's going to override the default, use Capture NX to do my editing. So let's go take a look at that. We'll say OK. We'll say OK. So now if I hit right click on a photo, this is an NEF photo here, and I select Edit Photo, which is going to use the default photo editor, this NEF has been told to use Capture NX. So Capture NX loads, the photo loads into it automatically, and we're good to go. If I want to use this on the JPEG, since JPEG, the default editor for Photo Mechanic, is Photoshop, and we have not modified the JPEG setting, when we right click and we hit the default edit photo, it's going to use the default editor and it's going to load the photo in Photoshop. Now, if I want to go ahead and open up the NEF file in Photoshop, because I have both Nikon NX and Photoshop in here as editors, I can right click and I can hit edit photo with and instead of using the default set for this which edit photo would do I'm going to tell the system to use Photoshop on this NEF it'll load Photoshop and it will also load Adobe Camera Raw for me and I'm ready to go so if you want to bypass that you can now if you have another editor that you would like to use but you haven't set any defaults and you want to add it to that list you can also do that and let me show you how Go ahead and get out of here. Let's go ahead and close out Photoshop. And let's say that we want to open this NEF file instead of Capture NX, we want to use Capture One. So let's use Phase One's Capture One as an editor. And there's no default for it. And we may not necessarily want to set a default file type to it, but we may want to edit it for very specific reasons. 
So we'll work with this raw file. And what we're going to do is we're going to go to Edit. We're going to go to Preferences. Then we're going to go to the Launch tab. We're going to click Set. And we're going to scroll down here to Custom Editor 1. We're going to double click. It's going to open up our Browse window like we did a minute ago. And we're going to go find Phase 1's Capture 1. So let's do that real quick. Here's Phase 1. Capture 1 version 4, Capture 1, say open. So now that is a custom editor. It's set in there. We can say OK. We say OK. Now let's go ahead and right click on our image. Go to Edit Photo With, select Capture 1. And there's our image ready to be loaded. It's loaded and ready to be edited. So you can have additional editors in here, but they don't have to be assigned to a specific file type.